morning everybody it's uh what are we now june 25th and 24th 25th uh, saturday anyway and we i think it's 25th and we're at uh, joffrey lakes um yeah everybody's pretty excited it's not a uh, easy hike but it's uh well worth it it's around four hours total two hours two and a half hours each way fairly steep but um Let's go. Yeah, everybody's pretty excited. It's a uh, busy trail. You have to reserve your passes well in advance and um, it gets full quick. So yeah, let's get uh, get a move on here and we'll get to Joffrey Lakes. Path is pretty straightforward when you start out. Then it's um, once you get past the first lake, the lower lake, then it uh, goes uphill pretty good for quite a ways. The middle lake and the top lake are the gems. The bottom lake is just, it's okay. If you want to do a 10, 15 minute hike to the bottom lake, then um, yeah, the bottom lake is worth it. Otherwise go for the second and third. So here's the lowest lake. This is, uh, it's okay here. Uh, this is not the nicest lake. It's a beautiful spot, but we go up there, up around the lake and then up the valley up to, uh, where the glacier is up top there. I haven't been up there this early in the year. Um, the glacier should be really nice. The water coming off it should be pretty cool. So we'll uh, get our photos done here and then make our way around the lake. Okay, so yeah, we're about a, about a quarter of the way up or something like that and I'm already sweating. It's uh, one of the hottest days of the year so far. And uh, we picked it to do this hike, but I'd rather do it in the hot than the rain. I can hear the rivers really high right now. We're getting a lot of snow melt right now because of the high temperatures. Anyway, here's the trail going up. The girls are up ahead. There's the valley. Joffrey Creek runs in the middle. Yeah, this is the trail so far. We haven't reached the stairs yet. The stairs are what I'm <laughs> not looking forward to. But it's a decently uh, kept trail. There's no, no really bad spots or anything. Yeah, once we get up ahead here, I'll uh, we get up to a spot where it's really nice there. I'll turn around and show you the rest of the valley. So there you go. We reach kind of this precipice here where you meet the river and uh, there's the valley. Yeah, trail continues this way. So we'll uh, keep going. Each year I do this. I get one year older and about two pounds heavier and it gets more and more difficult each time. I might start a petition to get a gondola. What do you think? Gondola, uh, escalator, tow rope, cheese, chairlift. What do you think? I don't know. I'll be the first signature on the petition. Even though I enjoy burning these calories, it's uh, Anyway, just stop for a quick rest and some water. Here's the stairs, as I mentioned before, my least favorite part. But the reward is the end, so that's what we have to look forward to. So we'll rest and then on we go. Go ahead. So we're going to do interviews with the two. We just want to ask, come a little closer. So we just want to know how is the hike so far? Hike is fine. Oh yeah. What about you? Anything to say? Uh, uh, okay. Eh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thanks. Uh, we'll um, catch back with you at the top. Oh. What about you, Christina? What can you say? Oh, what do you have to say? Um, <laughs> so far, um, so far, so good. Um, I would recommend it to people. You see? <laughs> yes. And I thank you. And I thank you. We oui, thank you. Okay. So we've got over the top part. We've reached the second lake almost. We'll uh, get there. And... Let's 
like I said, busy place. But here you can see we're almost at the second lake. Yeah. There we are. Second lake. Yeah, we could have. There you go. We'll make our way down here. Mm -hmm. Can I get a wow, Gandana man? So once we get down to the lake, I'll uh, give you guys a view. So here is uh, Joffrey Lake, middle, the middle lake, second lake. And you can see I, I came down to this little bit quieter spot here. This is the spot where everybody goes, but there's like 50 people there. So I just made my way down to this spot here. It's a bit quieter. There's not as many. Actually, there's nobody. It's just me here. A beautiful spot. I'll uh, get set up and try to get a, you know, the obligatory shot of the lake and the mountain in the back and yeah, get set up and show you. So I posted a, a couple of shots there that you would have seen. One, I did a vertical composition just of the lake with this tree. And uh, or was it horizontal? I can't remember. Either way. And then I did um, one vertical and one horizontal back here from behind these logs with the, with the mountain in the back. So if those uh, turned out any good, then you saw well at least one, I'm sure. The girls are up here. Hello. Yeah, this is the middle lake. Got a couple of shots of that. We'll spend some time looking around and uh, avoiding the people. And then we'll make our way up to the upper lake, which is the jam. It's not that much further up, maybe another half an hour hike, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, pick it up around. We'll stop and show, I'll uh, show you the waterfall in between the uh, upper and the middle lakes too. So we're almost here at the, well, we are here at the falls. There's a lot of water running off of them right now. Gonna try to get a picture of them. Might be uh, too much spray, but see if I can stay back here in the shade, maybe. I'll uh, post a link with the name of the falls. And uh, yeah, I'll probably make my way down somewhere to try to get a picture with uh, something in the foreground. I'll show you once I get set up. So I had to do, or I'm going to have to do an exposure blend. The highlights are way too high. <laughs> so I took one shot at uh, regular exposure and one shot uh, minus two on the uh, exposure compensation. And I'm going to blend them together in Photoshop. And uh, if that shot turns out any good, then Here's the shot.
Like I said before, people everywhere, so don't expect to get um, any alone time. <laughs> it's a um, place you got to be patient with and wait till everybody's out of your way before you get the shot or just get the shot with the people in it. The other girls are over there. So as you can see, where we were back here was just ridiculous with people. So I moved back and recreated the shot I did a few years ago and I was here. This stump is still here. I um, really liked this um, old root or this old um, tree that fell with this stump. I'll show you. I did a vertical shot um, with this stump in the foreground. Obviously, I'm only a foot from it, so I had to do uh, one shot of the stump. And uh, then at F13 I did, and then one shot in the background at F13, and I'll have to uh, do a focus stack in, in Lightroom or Photoshop. And uh, yeah, if that, um, if that turns out any good, then here's the shot. Now we're officially going to start heading out. It's 2, oh no, one thirty only actually, not too bad. We got to, it's getting hot though. It's starting to feel like I'm frying even though we've lathered up with, with um, sunscreen a bunch of times. But yeah, anyway, beautiful spot. Hopefully some of these shots turned out and uh, we'll get some footage on the way out, but nothing you haven't seen coming up. Yeah. See you down at the parking lot. So here you see the exact thing that happens if you leave your camera unattended with three young girls you're hiking with. You can almost hear them making fun of my photography and my composition skills, while at the same time not realizing that they don't have a microphone and that the one I'm using is wireless and clip to my shirt. The joking continues with faces and all kinds of mock interviews. Oh, how I wish the audio was on to hear what they were saying about my terrible photography skills and how bored they were with waiting for me while I was taking photos. Ah, uh, I guess we'll never know. I decided to stop on the way out and get, uh, get one more shot of this. I took one vertical, one horizontal, and uh, I think the vertical will look better, but I'm not positive. I'll uh, see when I get home and get them into Lightroom. But uh, yeah, if one of those turns out, then here's, uh, here's that shot.
favorite spot in here. Uh, on the way out, not really any other spots to stop. Got knees of cheese going on, like I said before. Going up is one thing, going down is another. Can't wait to get down, put the flip flops on. We're going to uh, stop at Copper Coil Grill in um, Squamish on the way home. Plus, drop off the hotel key that I left in my pocket. Shit happens. And uh, yeah, have pulled pork and brisket, beer, whatever, maybe Caesar. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be well deserved. Anyway, yeah, if you like the video, give it the old thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and uh, see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Okay, I said I was done, but I couldn't resist this last shot here. Got this log in the stump, uh, log in the stump, log in the scene, and the uh, glacier in the back. And that's, uh, that's where we were, right here. So yeah, that's it from Joffrey Lakes. We reached the lower lake again. And uh, if the shot that I check from here turns out any good, then uh, here's the shot. So yeah, that's it from Joffrey Lakes. If that shot turned out any good, you saw it. And we're back to the car and gone for dinner. Take care, everybody. Bye.